Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy, Outcast Nation here, or Andrew Cook, talking today about one kind of weird subject in the world today. I do not know why it's a weird subject. Relationships. Relationships, you heard that right, I think. <clears throat> Sorry for the coughing. But basically, um, I'm talking about relationships today because many people today are either begging for a relationship, i.e. being desperate, which is, no, you shouldn't be desperate. Like, trying to get to a relationship, so I'm going to help you teach you advice, because I'm actually in a relationship, yeah, me, my ugly fucking mug, is in a relationship. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and also, <clears throat> there's people who ditch their girlfriend dash boyfriend depending on who it is in a relationship because something's good happened to them or they're doing like exams i know exams are really important but surely you can make time up for a girl you re revise for the week meet someone one day one day a week that will make their day but no <clears throat> so first up is those people who will always like Oh yeah, in, in like group chat saying, oh yeah, who's single here? You are single. Let me slide in. No, just, no. Because you'll probably end up being with them for about two weeks and then finding out they're not right for you because they're doing something wrong to annoy you and you go, nah, don't like you, fuck off. Just fuck off in my life. I don't like you. Now, the first type of people I say, fucking grow up. You're not 12. It's not a competition. Oh, yes. Well, I've got a relationship and you don't. So, therefore, I'm more classier than you. So, you can fuck off, peasant. No. That doesn't how, that's not how it works. A relationship is basically you and a girl or you and a guy, depending on who you are. <clears throat> basically, being together, being in love. Being loyal to each other, being trustful to each other, being honest with each other, basically, that's what it is. Not a fucking competition. To brag about your mates about who's got the hottest bird. Now, number two, what did they say? Oh yeah, people wanting to get in a relationship. So there could be people, like a boy and a girl, who have been speaking for about three months now. And... They've known each other long enough to get into a relationship, but not that long enough to keep, like, hold a relationship, if you know what I mean. So to that advice, I'm going to give you three simple steps of how to keep a relationship easy. Number one, always compliment them. No matter how, if they don't even take the compliment, 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 compliment them anyway. Like, say, like, every morning when they, <clears throat> when you wake up and you may work, wake up earlier than them, just say how, like, beautiful I look, how much have made you so happy in life. Uh, how much, how, even like seeing a message pop up by them has made you so happy and made your day even better. So simple like that. I know it sounds cheesy, but it, it helps. Don't honestly trust me. Um, another thing is, don't be scared. Like literally, you could be willing. You could be. You could right. You could like the girl. The girl could like you back. Don't be scared about asking. Like saying, "Oh yeah." Uh, I so. To something and they'd be like, oh, what? They're like, oh, yes, I like you. Because if you leave it too late, they might find someone else who's not scared to stand like them and they start liking them back. And you, your life could be probably ruined by that. Because that's the one girl you properly get fell in love with straight away. And you could be like, no, no, my life is dying. No. But, yeah. Another thing is people ending their relationships after getting something good or doing something it's like i watched on mike fox's video a lyric prank or like a lyric it was like a text thing and someone won the lottery won quite a lot of money and fucking ditched off the girlfriend because of the money surely you want to date your girlfriend to spoil them with the money you've got i know they may not want they may not appreciate it well they will appreciate that but they may not want that they may, they may just value time with you to be amazing but you were like, oh no, you deserve something amazing because you made my life a whole lot better. So it gets you like a ring or something. But you like, so don't 
if you don't want it, just just take it anyway. It's simple as. Just, if you don't want something from your boyfriend, just take it anyway. Be appreciative, and just fuck off. Seriously, people who like that, people are like, oh, my boyfriend got me something, but I didn't want it, and he didn't ask me if I wanted it. It's just like piss off. He got you something. He thought about you. He wants you, and you're treating him like this. Dog shit. But the first people who have any relationships because of like really bad things. I'm just, well, one, I'm sorry to hear that. And two, just try, just try, just try and make it work with people, but not with a fucking cheater. Because cheating should be fucking gone. Who right? Who gets with a girl? Who they go? Oh yes, she looks pretty nice. But in about a week's time, I'm gonna get with someone so much hotter or even uglier, to be honest. Knowing, knowing people these days who only care about sex, to be honest. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cheat on them with you. They don't let them know. And I'll end up knowing. And you're in deep shit. And no, none of them like you. Congratulations, Sherlock. You won. But anyway. This video is gone on too long. Six minutes at 20 now. As I'm recording this. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please have a comment if you know any of these about it. Um, or... Any of your like things with girls, if you've been like too scared to ask someone out, or too scared to like them, too scared to say you like them, or even got you something, or they don't appreciate it, yeah, leave them in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe. It will mean so much to me. As I said, well, I didn't say, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is just a part-time thing. I'm not doing it for money. I want to do it for fun. Do a couple of collabs with mates. Just do it. Just do YouTube for fun. But um, it's, this channel is basically up to you guys. Uh, who subscribe because basically I just want you to tell me what to do because I've known me I've probably run out of ideas and like that and I won't be able to, to won't be able to like name anything so I'm gonna look through the comments of every video if I get any like significant views or, like and any significant good comments they'll help me if someone says like Q and A do a Q and A do a Q I'll do a Q and A stuff like that or collabs with people so yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you late later. Peace.